Ahead of the BRIC summit in South Africa next month, national security advisors and high representative on national security of member countries held a two-day meeting in Johannesburg. Following talks between Chinese and Russian officials, the two countries are looking to further strengthen ties. Let's find out more from Margaret Parcasio. Wang Yi, Director of the Office of Communist Party of China Central Commission for Foreign Affairs, met with Nikolai Patrashev, Secretary of Security Council of the Russian Federation in South Africa's Johannesburg on Monday. During the meeting, Wang said China-Russia relations have withstood the test of major changes in international politics and become more mature, resilient, and vigorous. China is willing to further strengthen strategic communication with Russia, enhance strategic mutual trust, deepen the synergy between the Belt and the Road Initiative and the Eurasian Economic Union, and intensify coordination and cooperation at the bilateral, regional, and international levels, Wang said. Wang underlined that the two sides should work together to oppose hegemonic and high-handed acts, enrich the China-Russia Comprehensive Strategic Partnership of Coordination for the New Era, and inject new impetus into a multipolar world and democratization of international relations. Hailing BRICS, cooperation in recent years with both practical outcomes and institutional progress, he stressed that the BRICS countries are all major emerging markets and developing countries that play important role in the world. China is ready to work closely with Russia and other BRICS countries to further strengthen BRICS cooperation in a bid to safeguard the common interest of developing countries, Wang added. And similarly, Patrashev said Russia is willing to strengthen strategic communication with China expand practical cooperation and deepen coordination and cooperation within the frameworks including BRICS and the Shanghai Cooperation Organization to inject more stability into a volatile world. The two sides also exchange views on international and regional issues of common concern. Reporting, this has been Margaret Parcasio, S9 News. China appointed its senior diplomat Wang Yi as a new foreign minister after removing Qing Gang. Carla de la Peña files this report. The government of China has removed Qin Gang as the foreign minister of the country, replacing him with his predecessor Wang Yi. According to Chinese media, the country's top legislature, the National People's Congress standing voted to appoint Wang Yi as foreign minister. According to Chinese media, Chin's removal as foreign minister of China is in line with the organic law of the National People's Congress, which came in effect in 2021. The announcement came following a month after Chin's last public appearance. Chin was made foreign minister in December. His last public appearance was when he held talks with the foreign ministers of Russia, Vietnam, and Sri Lanka in late June. Meanwhile, Wang Yi is currently attending the BRICS National Security Advisors meet in South Africa. Reporting. This has been Carlo de la Peña, SM9. America's Forest Service admitted that it started a monster wildfire that almost reached Los Alamos, New Mexico last year. The U.S. Forest Service has admitted that the Cerro Pelado fire, which burned over 60 square miles in Sandoval County, New Mexico, in April of 2022, was caused by them. The said wildfire burned in dry, windy conditions and crept within a few miles of Los Alamos City. It came within a few miles of a national security laboratory in Los Alamos. Schools closed and evacuation bags were packed before the blaze was contained. Investigators found that the wildfire started from what it called an escape prescribed burn, where piles were ignited earlier in February of 2022. But what is a prescribed fire? According to the National Park Service, Proscribed fires are treatment for research benefits or research which include in light, lighting a fire in an area for various purposes after careful planning and under controlled conditions. Investigators said that the wildfire began with a burn of piles of forest debris commissioned by the Forest Service that became a holdover fire which smoldered under the snow, but without anyone realizing it for several months. The revelation of a monster wildfire that occurred in 2022 
prompted New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grishan to slam the U.S. Forest Service, saying that she was outraged over the agency's negligence that caused the destruction. The U.S. federal government, meanwhile, has already acknowledged that it started the largest monstrous wildfire in state history, which burned more than 530 square miles or 1,373 square kilometers of the foothills of the Rocky Mountains of Santa Fe, New Mexico, which destroyed homes and livelihoods.